Welcome to Loretto Mandeville Hall Turak in Australia, where we meet on the ancient lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. Gathered here are a small group of musicians, friends of Mary Ward, Mary, Gretel, Anushka, and with them, Sister Deirdre Brown. The composer of the song, Lead Us On, Mary Ward, written in 2009 to honour the 400-year foundation of Mary Ward's first schools. Lead Us On, Mary Ward is already sung popularly and with great joy across all Loretto schools in Australia. Today, we want to share this song with you. We offer it to you in word and in song so that you too can join and follow the call to Lead Us On, Mary Ward. I have a dream. I really want the whole wide world to know Mary Ward and to know what she stood for. And I've tried to write this in a song. And this song could be sung by the CJs, the Loretto's, the whole Mary Ward family, because they understand the history of Mary Ward and what her life meant to people. So if possible, let's see if we can share that with you today in such a way that you'll feel very confident about singing it and you'll sing with zest and meaning. The song is inspired, as I do know, by looking at the sculpture, which is a sculpture of Mary Ward by an Australian artist, Melissa Judge. And she puts a lot of the life story of Mary Ward into this sculpture. And reflecting on it, I thought, I want to um, in, inspire people and get the sculpture into music. And so my words are a direct reflection on that. I started with a thought that perhaps a new girl coming to the school would be looking at being shown these things and say, well, who's that woman? And this is the answer, I hope. And I wanted everyone to know that Mary Ward was central to their education because she holds those values, freedom, justice, sincerity, verity, felicity. You'll find it in her writings. So that was so important to me. And so the project actually developed um, from uh, just a concept to um, her, a, a dream that um, Mary Ward would become a friend to the students, that they would be able to befriend her, they'd talk to her, and when they're in trouble, they would sit nearby because they'd know that her hand would be out there for them. So the project developed into a tender and loving tribute to this magnificent woman, Mary Ward. Now the music came easily after the idea and um, it fell into three sections, the structure. There's a chant, there are some verses, and there are two refrains. And we have an introduction. So I'd ask Mary to play the introduction. That's the intro. <laughs> You'll hear it a few times between the verses and then at the conclusion. Uh, now, the chant itself is very simple. And it's written specifically with little ones in mind, little people that take time to learn words. But gradually they grow up and enter into the whole song in the school. But the chant uh, also was inspired a little bit by seeing these children, little five-year-olds, etc., coming to school and thinking that they're letting go of their parents' hands and they're taking the hands of the teacher, etc. And um, I imagined Mary Ward herself leading us to the gospel, leading us to Jesus. Beautiful. Now we go on to the verses. There are four verses and in the last verse it refers to us. But the first three are referring to this extraordinary woman. 
Each verse has a different set of questions we ask. Who is this woman? Where is she going? Those kinds of things. And they pick up on aspects that you can gather when you look at the eyes and the hands and the feet and the backpack and all the symbols that are on Mary Ward. And each verse has that. And first three verses keep asking, who is this woman? So we emphasize here her eyes. Where has she come from? What is she saying to us? Eyes fixed ahead, set on her goal, bearing her secret within. And verse 2, we move on from there and we think about Mary as a pilgrim woman. She has a backpack on her, she has her hat hanging from there and she it was very typical of her moving around through the, across the Alps and down to Rome and all those places. So where is she going? Why is she travelling so far? Striding out, spirited and strong, pursuing her goal to its end. Let's try that. So we're up to verse 3 now, and this recognises Mary Ward as a deep woman of faith. She was a pilgrim, and she represented that through her hat and shoes, and we see that on the sculpture. And she, that rep is represented also through her right hand, because you can see when you look at it, the little rosary hanging from her wrist and inside a very tiny cross. And she kept it close to her body because that was important to have this secret relationship with God in the midst of all the difficulties she went through. So the strength of the spirit, the love of her Lord, this is what keeps her going. Wonderful. And now we move to verse 4. And verse 4 is about us. We imagine ourselves as Mary Ward today, Mary Ward's galloping girls, as they used to call them. Her values call us to be seekers of truth and doers of justice. No holding back. Seek justice, do justice, but be justice. And the symbols underlying her figure and on the, on the ground of the statue, the base of the statue, um, or the sculpture as we should say, show a, her life story and her journeys as we've talked about it, but also some of her sayings that really ring true. So now in this verse, speaking the truth, trusting in God, acting for freedom and justice, that's us, that's what we want to be. This woman, when 
we have courage to stand up for what we believe, speaking the truth, trusting in God, acting for freedom and justice. So there we have the four verses. Now we move on to the refrains. There are two refrains and they're different in their style of melody and sound. Um, one is more obviously letting the heart speak to you, how beautiful are the feet. The other one is take my hand, is invitatory and drawing, drawing us in to respond. So let us take uh, the first refrain. So that one echoes the lovely words of Isaiah the prophet and that, that, that is also, they are also sung in version of the Messiah as an aria. And now we look at the second refrain and this one is a gentle invitation as I said. It could be, oh take my hand, come, come to Mary Ward speaking to you, or it could be you um, just wanting to do that in life. Take my hand and walk with me. I'll, I'll sing a song for you. Thank you. So there we are, we've had the chant, the verses, the refrains. So now we're up to the uh, idea of putting it all together. We've broken it into parts and let's do this in a nice orderly way and uh, we'll listen, we won't listen to the tunes of all the building blocks again, but we'll go straight into a performance. <laughs> 